All right, let's hold Lamar Jackson. Um, yeah, I I do look look look. I do think the Lamar Jackson thing. I do think that that situation could be rectified. I I really do. I do think both sides have arguments though, whether you're pro or pro Lamar or pro Ravens in this argument about whether or not you should pay him all guarantee money versus, you know, be a little more broad with it. I do think both sides have an argument. Lamar has an argument because not only is he spectacular, not only is he a top 10 quarterback in the league, yes, he is, possibly top five when healthy. Because their offense is built around him, because this team makes a lot of money on his light, on his likeness too also. Don't forget, don't forget this. It's also not just on-field value for Lamar Jackson. It's also the off-field Lamar Jackson value in terms of jersey sales. One of the top jersey sellers in the league. One of the most exciting players in the league. So the Baltimore Ravens, if they lose Lamar Jackson, ain't just the on-field exploits. It's also the off-field exploits that they lose as well too. And for them though, if you if you will let Lamar Jackson walk, then pretty much what's happening is that you're going to pretty much be rebuilding the next couple of years because everything is built on Lamar Jackson. This is this, there's very few guys in this league that when when we say face the franchise, it's a literal thing, and it's really only a few people in this league. If you do think about it, there's really, it's really very few people that actually fit that title. Pat Mahomes is the face of the franchise in Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Joe Burrow is not a face franchise in Cincinnati. You know, Josh Allen, Buffalo. You know, San Francisco, as good as they are, there's no face in the franchise. It's a, it's a collective. Philadelphia, it's a collective. You know, the Cowboys, it's a collective, really, to be honest with you. Like, people say, oh, well, it could be Dak, it could be, it could be Mike Parsons. It's really collective. Lamar Jackson is that guy. Lamar Jackson is the face of the franchise in Baltimore. So, when we, when we see that and we hear that, it's more than just football for Baltimore. It's it's also the off field, the impact, the the, the, the merchandising, the just. The, the, I mean, he 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 is he is the Ray Lewis right now in terms of just the he is the he is the de, the defining name and face of Baltimore Ravens football. And I think this situation is still rectified, but I just don't know. But someone has, someone has to give, and I feel like Lamar might have to lighten up a little bit. You know, I can see again Baltimore's argument about giving them giving them guaranteed money across the board, fully guaranteed. You know, it hurts Lamar's argument when you've missed the last two seasons. You know, missed the end of the year, five games this year, six games the other, or whatever, whatever the number is exactly, including the playoff game this year, which the way it played out, this the way that game played out on on, on Sunday, he plays that game. Maybe the Ravens win that game. No, in fact, I would say if the Ra- he plays that game, the Ravens probably do win that game and are playing this weekend against Kansas City. 